Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been getting requests now for a while on my new updated like makeup routine. Basically, um, you guys have been asking for an updated get ready with me. So if you're interested in seeing that look, which is what I have right now, just keep watching. This video is sponsored by Keurig to introduce the new K Cafe Coffee House Brewer. If you're anything like me, you start off your morning routine with a great cup of coffee. You guys know that I could not start my morning routine without coffee and the Keurig K Cafe single serve coffee latte and cappuccino maker is such a convenient way to enjoy your favorite coffee latte or cappuccino at home. This brewer is amazing because it works with any K-cup pod, so the options are endless. Nick really likes to just stick with plain black coffee, but he does like trying different brands. I, on the other hand, like to have coffee, lattes, cappuccinos, everything, and so I really never get bored with trying new K-cup pods. The best part is how simple it is. All you have to do is brew, froth, and enjoy. You can use the coffee shot feature to brew a concentrated shot of coffee and then use the dishwasher safe frother to froth your favorite milk, including skim, soy, or almond. This creates the perfect creamy latte or frothy cappuccino. I really enjoy my coffee iced and this brewer makes that possible. You can choose the cold setting on your frother to froth cold milk for your lattes and cappuccinos. You can brew 6, 8, 10, or 12 ounces of coffee, tea, or cocoa. This is a really good way to increase the strength of your coffee if you like it to be super strong. This entire process is super simple, right down to the frother being dishwasher safe, so it's super quick, it's convenient, and it's delicious, and I know that you guys will love this brewer if you try it out for yourself. If you guys are interested in getting one for yourself, you can purchase them at Best Buy. I also have a link below in the description bar that you can click on to learn more. So once again, thank you Keurig for sponsoring this video. Now let's go ahead and get into my daily makeup and hair routine. Okay, so since this is not a um, beauty channel, um, I am just sitting in my room where the, I picked the place that I could get the camera closest to my face. Um, and I don't have like a ring light behind the camera or anything. I just have all my windows behind the camera open. So this is just a natural light. So this is probably the most like natural that you could possibly see my face. It looks like there's enough light on the viewfinder. So I'm hoping that there's enough light for you guys to see what's going on, but I'll get in as close as I can. So I'm gonna put this headband on. I love this headband. It's a Lululemon, I've had it forever, but I put it on when I do my makeup in the mornings. Um, I just uh, blow dried my hair. I washed and blow dried it this morning. I do it about twice a week. So like every four days I'll uh, wash and blow dry my hair. And it's, it's really damaged, not damaged, it is damaged, but also postpartum just has all these crazy flyaways going on. So um, 
yeah that's my poor little hairs okay so this video just happens to be I'm, I just happen to be filming on the day before I'm getting my lashes refilled. I just recently got lashes. Where's my little thing? I just recently got lashes and um, they're like all, all out by now. Tomorrow I go for my refill, but they're like out. So I'm just going to um, try and like curl what I do have. Oh look, they're all flying off as I do this. It's so sad that they've all like fallen off. I, I guess like since I'm not used to having lashes, they're probably just like really, I probably just don't treat them very well, but I also sometimes like sleep on my side and I probably accidentally rub them off at night too, but I go in tomorrow for my refill, so um, just ignore that my lashes are crazy today, but it is what it is. Also, I didn't realize how many like stray hairs I have. Um, I didn't realize that it's like time for me to get my oh no I used this today and I think I messed it up I used it to like pull off an extra end on this necklace because they sent it to me with two ends and now it doesn't want to pick anything up I think I messed it up so now I'm gonna have to sharpen it oh no that makes me so sad okay so we're just gonna have to work with my brows being nuts um hopefully I can get in and have them waxed or go get a sharpener for those tweezer tweezers I'm sad okay so we're just gonna start with what I do first thing before I put on my makeup and I put Skin Medica TNS Essential Serum and I bought this at my dermatologist office. My mom uses it. It says to tap like this before you put it on. I don't know why. Um, and it also says to only use one pump but I have to use two because um, one pump doesn't work for me. Like it dries up too fast. So I apply this all over my face. This stuff smells so bad. I won't lie to you guys. This smell is like almost unbearable. Like it's to the point where I've considered, look, I'm gonna have to put some more for my eyes because it just, it dries really fast. Um, it's to the point where I've considered stopping using it because it smells so bad, but it's just such a good product that I just, I don't know. I can't stop using it. Okay. So there we go. Now this has to dry completely before I can add anything else to my face. So I fan myself. Okay, so then I take this. This is, um, it's Becca and they sent this to me in a PR kit. It is the First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. And um, it's this lavender, so it's kind of like a, um, I guess it's like a skin tone corrector. But I just like it because I like the way it feels. I put a lot on, like two pumps. Um, I use more product than I think is recommended on basically everything. Um, but it's lavender and it smells good and it, it works really um, good under my makeup. Oh, I guess I need more. I guess I use like three pumps. Wow. Yeah. God, there's like this little fly flying around because my, probably because the serum smells like so bad. Okay, so now that that's done, I fan that. <laughs> Let that dry up a little bit. Usually while that's going on, I get my uh, beauty sponge damp. And then I'm going to take the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer. I've been using this for a very long time now. Probably, I don't know, you guys would know because I, I remember I shared the first time I bought this. And I have everything, but this is just my daily go-to all the time. And it is a tinted moisturizer, so you can just apply it with your hands but I do it with um, my sponge. And this is a really, really light coverage, so it's good for like daily wear. The shade that I wear in this is called Light. Okay, so now that that's done, then I will take my concealer, which is Tarte um, shape tape. This is my holy grail. I've been using this ever since the first time I tried it. I normally like to try new products, but I've kind of like slowed down on like my new product trying escapades because I always end up being disappointed and wasting my money when I go out of what I know works and I feel like I need to just realize that if it's broke, don't fix it. These are the places that I conceal. My chin is where I break out the most and um, 
under my eyes. I always put way too much and then it ends up looking like fake and ridiculous when I put too much under my eyes, but I tend to do that a lot. The shape tape goes a long way, but for some reason I never learn. And then I put whatever, whatever is left over from that's still on my sponge, just on my the top of my eyelids, kind of like on my brow bone. Now that that's done, I'm going to take um, my uh, setting powder, and I got the little small one because um, I've, like I said, I've been trying all these new ones, and I wanted to go back to this because out of all the setting powders I've used, the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder has been the best one for me. So I'm using this, this is a different sponge, I'm just going to like tap some into the cap, um, and I'm using a different sponge, this isn't the same one that I just used for my foundation, this one I only use for powder, and the sponges are both damp, I even like wring them out on a, um, like a towel to make sure that it's like, it's not wet at all, it's just like barely damp. The cell's right here by the way, if you can hear some like licking going on. So we start under my eyes and just like bring it down on both sides and over my nose. And then I just like lightly set the rest of my face. All right, so all my makeup is set. Gosh, I need to get a spray tan bad. So now I go to my eyebrows and what I use for my brows is the Dior Show Brow Styler. And this is color 001 brown. First I take the little spoolie and I like straighten up my brows. I always have dandruff in my brows. I know that's so sick, but like I even scrub them when I'm in the shower and I still, every time I do this, like little flakes are in my brows and it's just it's gross. And then I take the other end and I just fill them in really soft. I'm so impatient with this and I can't ever get them perfect ever. I've always been really bad at brows but we all have our strengths. This is the Ready Set Brow by Benefit Brow Gel. And it's like a clear setting gel that I put right after. And now I move on to my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I've been using is this Dior, um, Dior Show Fusion Mono, um, color number 621 mirror. Um, this is what the little pot looks like. Um, I've Mine's broken. It's kind of like falling apart, but it's okay. It still works. And, and then I take the Sigma Eye Shading E55 um, brush and I just get a little on my brush. And I just cover the bottom of my lid. I don't really go past the crease and just kind of fill that in like that. Super basic and like simple. So now my lashes look insane. Um, but this would be the part where I would re fan out my lashes whenever they're whenever my lashes are actually done um, it looks a lot better but right now like I said earlier they're just not I have to go in tomorrow for my refill so I don't put mascara on my top lashes ever since I got the lash extensions but but if you are gonna be using mascara I recommend the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. This is a new one that I've tried within the past month or so, and it's been one of my favorites. Um, now I move on to doing a little bit of liner on my bottom lash, and I use a, um, this is the uh, Sephora Pro Angled Liner um, Eyeliner Number 22 brush, 
and I use basically any dark eyeshadow to um, go up underneath my lash line. Um, and lately I've been using this color from the Volcano Goddess palette. Um, this was sent to me by Becca. It's a new eye palette. Um, and the color that I use is called Crater. It's this one. Whoa. It's this one right here. I haven't even used any other color in this palette so far except for this. And I use it for that um, under eye. So I just um, lightly... like barely apply that to the outside. Like I barely put any there, but just enough to make like a little tiny shadow. Then for my bottom lashes, I use the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes. And now I'm going to do blush. And what I do for blush is a little um, unconventional. This is just the NARS Orgasm um, Illuminating Loose Powder. And it's got a pink, peachy pink uh, color to it. And it's also really shiny like a highlighter. So instead of doing a blush and a highlighter, I just add this to my cheeks. And it works for me as like a double whammy and it saves time. So I just take a little bit from the cap. And I lightly apply that right here. And then to blend that out, I take this. Um, this was the Sephora Collection Pro Mini 55.5. I got this for being a Rouge member um, 2018. This is like the 2018 Rouge gift. Um, and I use this to blend out. This is a foundation brush, I think but I use it to blend out the, the blush slash highlighter. This is the NARS, um, the NARS Orgasm Afterglow Lip Balm, and I use this pretty much every day without fail. There's also a NARS Orgasm Lip Lacquer, Lipstick, and Lip Gloss. I own all of them, and I always have one of those four on my lips. So I'm done basically, um, unless I was gonna do bl uh, bronzer, which I don't normally do every day. So then I set everything with the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. And now I'm done with that part. So then when I take my hair out, there's usually a crease, so I've got to, um, I use my straightener to like touch it up and then for all these like crazy little postpartum and um, bleach damage hairs, um, I have a um, like a little styling cream that I'll show you from Moroccan oil that I use to kind of like tame them down. So the straightener that I use is this Hot Tools Vibra Smooth. It's so old, it's like rubbing off. You can hardly even tell, but I got this from Ulta and it vibrates when you clamp it together because it's supposed to like get in there a little bit better with the vibrating feature, I don't know. I normally put it on uh, 350, let's see. There we go, 350 degrees um, to straighten. And I, I try to straighten these little pieces but I know that it's just like further damaging them. But I try, it's just, I know it's not helping. It's actually just like making it worse, but bleaching your hair mixed with postpartum, it's just not a good combo. And like these right here are always crazy. Like my hair texture after having my first daughter and my second daughter is just like, it makes your hair so much less manageable. Okay, so now what I use for styling that I was telling you guys about is this Hydrating Styling Cream by Moroccan Oil. I just take a tiny, tiny bit because a little bit does go a long way. Um, and like rub it in between my hands and then I try and just like lay these little hairs down. But it doesn't usually stay, like it doesn't... It's like, it's sad actually, they don't stay. 
and then what's ever left I just like run through the ends and then every single day I spray the Moroccan oil dry shampoo on my roots even if it's not greasy yet it's just good for like preventative I've already done that today though and then the last thing I do is the Stockholm Sweden flexible spray um, I just get this at my salon and then um, I spray this as well to try and tame them down And then I'm done. So that's my like super, um, like quick everyday, um, like that's how I get ready every single morning lately for the past, I don't know, for the past few months at least. This has just been like my go to. It's just simple, quick, um, and I, I like the natural look lately. So um, that's what I've been doing. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, make sure your bell notification is on, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.